Thank you so much, Gail, and thank you for everything that you have done uh, with regard to caregiving because this is such an important issue. And I'm just very honored to be here tonight for uh, with all of the important work that you're doing uh, with the Alliance for Aging Research Awards that you're having tonight. And I have to tell you, I'm very humbled uh, by to be here with the other recipients of the awards that you're giving out tonight because uh, I know that uh, Congresswoman DeGette will be receiving an award for her tremendous leadership in the House. Um, I had the chance to meet uh, Dr. Tanzi and to hear from him about the incredible work that he's, he's done to actually replicate uh, Alzheimer's uh, in the laboratory so that we can find, make sure that we find the cures and the ability uh, to use what you've replicated with new drugs and testing. So what an amazing advance. So I'm just humbled to be uh, part of a group recognized with your amazing science. Um, and I'm also honored to be here with Scott Simon. So I wanna congratulate all the people that you're recognizing tonight and just really thank you for the important work uh, that you're doing here. Um, this is obviously a true reflection of who we are. I'm very humbled to be recognized uh, tonight. And we know that people are living longer and what a blessing that is for our country. Uh, but we wanna make sure that when people live longer, that they live quality lives. And that's at the heart of what you're all doing, whether you're sponsoring this or whether you founded this, so, uh, or you have a passion for science. And at the heart of what you're advocating for will improve the lives of all Americans. And I want you to know that I stand with you to ensure that we provide robust funding for NIH because I believe uh, that we can do life-saving research on so many chronic diseases. Uh, we can also do life-saving research and allowing people to have quality of life when it comes to Alzheimer's. Um, I think that if you look at uh, the devastating impact of Alzheimer's on people who are aging and want to enjoy a great quality of life, but also the caregivers and the families that are impacted by Alzheimer's. And, and to my colleagues, who, like myself, who are also worried about the fiscal state of the country, this is the best investment that we can make. Because not only if we invest in research dollars are we benefiting the population as a whole, but also when we find cures, we find ways to allow people to live quality lives. We also, of course, um, address the fiscal challenges facing our nation because we know that so much of the health care costs uh, go into so many of these chronic diseases that uh, we can solve and we can, we're the greatest country on earth. We know that if we put our best scientific minds at this and we have the resources and give them the means to do it, uh, that we can work together and find cures for diseases like Alzheimer's. So I've been glad, uh, honored to advocate to the Appropriations Committee to be very vocal to support NIH funding and Truthfully, groups like this make an incredible difference because um, having your advocacy on the Hill, having your voice makes a big difference so that people understand that this matters to each and every single one of us. I've also been honored to be part of the Caregiving Caucus because as I mentioned earlier, we know the tremendous uh, work done by caregivers, whether it's a family member, whether it's a friend, and also the stress that, that caregivers experience and so I think that it really warrants uh, recognizing their contributions, finding ways to make it easier for them through the policy decisions that we make in Washington and so that's why I appreciate deeply the work uh, done by Gail. Last week I was also very proud um, to be one of the original sponsors of another bill that is gonna I think further highlight uh, the importance of us addressing Alzheimer's and that is called the Eureka Act, and that act is going to encourage greater collaboration between public and private sectors, and it's also going to create uh, prize-based incentives for br breakthroughs in Alzheimer's, and I think Dr. Tanzi may be at the top of the list already for that, but um, there are so many ways that we can work together to 
make sure that all of us um, can live a quality life in this country. And it really begins with what we're willing to invest in research. And I don't want to see the United States of America fall behind on what we're investing in research because we've always been the innovators. We've always been the ones with the tremendous new ideas. And we need to continue to invest uh, in that innovation, in science, in those ideas to make sure that all of us can have the opportunity to live in this country and to enjoy um, the greatness not only of our beautiful environment, but the quality relationships uh, that we build throughout our lives. So thank you for having me tonight. Um, I'm very honored uh, to be here with all of you. And please keep up your excellent work. Um, this is obviously something you've been doing, I believe, for 30 years. Uh, I obviously hope that uh, we can make sure that NIH doesn't continue uh, to be an issue and that you can continue to focus on even other broader issues. Um, mental health, I understand, you're going to be focusing on as well. Consider me a partner. And I just thank all of you for, for being here tonight and for, for uh, really bestowing what a, what a great honor on me. Thank you.